Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Hitman in Marrakesh. Now, I've decided to do something a little bit different this time. Um, I'm not going to do a suit-only silent assassin run. Uh, I've actually already done that. In fact, if I go into the mission and I go to challenges and assassinations, you can see I already did that just to see, like, how it can be done. I'm already up to a mastery level 20 there, so kind of, you know, because there's kind of fewer achievements, this is one of the things that actually really bugs me about this uh, mission actually, which is uh, Paris had like, yeah, Paris had a hundred challenges that you could do, and I did 50 of them and got up to level 20, and Sapienza had like 99, and I did 66 of them and got up to level 20. Marrakesh only has 76, and I had to do 54 of those to get up to level 20, so like, you have to do a much greater proportion of the challenges. So Sapienza, I could just pick the challenges I liked the look of and just do them, the same in Paris, whereas Marrakesh, I had to do a few challenges that didn't particularly interest me, just for the sake of getting to mastery level 20. So I've done that, but honestly, like, the route I basically did in Silent Assassin, my very first playthrough, is pretty much the same route you got on Sue Tony Silent Assassin. You just have to, like, you know, move around a bit more carefully and you cover a bit more. So that wouldn't really be that interesting. So what I want to do instead is I actually want to look at one of the escalation missions today because I'm told these have actually been getting better and better and this one's pretty damn good and this to me feels like a good time to do an escalation mission because I know this level pretty well at this point but not like spectacularly well so this seems like an excellent way to see if I can figure out some more fun stuff about this here mission. So here we are the Ignatiev Integrity whatever that means in particular. So eliminate this bloke who needs to be eliminated in a fire. Can we learn anything else about him? No, we just learned that he needs to die in a fire. Okay, um, does explosion count as a fire? I hope so. For those of you who never played these, by the way, um, basically you get given an objective, you need to kill someone in a particular way, and then there's five levels of it, so it gets more and more hard. They like add in complications, more targets, criteria, they add in more security into the level. Like, it can be a bit different to the main game. So whoever this guy is, we'll figure out a way to kill him, fine. Uh, I'll just kind of go with my basic stuff, because I don't know where he is just yet, so we'll just figure that out in a moment. And I'm hoping, yeah, explosion will count as fire, because... Aside from creating a pool of oil, then shooting it, there's not that many ways to actually create a fire in this game. Okay, so where's our target? Let's get him on the map and figure out who he is and where he is. He's... Oh! Okay, he's a guy over by the embassy. I believe that's standing at, like, the, um, the military blockade to the left of the embassy as you approach it. So I will head over there now and just verify that. Oh, no, he isn't. He's down underground. Uh, that must mean he's in the parking garage, in fact. Oh, no, he's in the tunnel that links the shoe shop with the, uh, the embassy. Okay, that's not too bad to deal with, all things considered, then. So, as we can save a bit of time, let's just replan this using all of my, like, starting locations. Because that will be by far the easiest way for me to do this. And as we might need to be doing some explosives, let's bring along one of the new toys that gets unlocked when you get to Mastery 20 in Marrakesh. So there's a new combat knife, there's a new remote explosive ducky, there's the vomiting poison, so you can actually go in with effectively a free wrapped poison without having to go and find some. There's a new proximity block thing, which appears to be like basically a proximity bomb, which unlike the proximity duck, doesn't draw attention to itself. And I think is the explosion feels a little bit bigger as well. Um, and also in weapons, if I just set a smuggled item for a second there, there was also a new, a silenced SMG type thing. So you've kind of got a silenced, actually it's saying more like it's more like an assault rifle type of thing. So yeah, quite a powerful silenced rifle though. Honestly, I don't think many people are playing this game to go in all guns blazing, but still nice to have, I guess. One thing I do like about Escalation and Contracts, by the way, is you're not allowed to save. You have to do it all in one go, which I quite like. It makes them much more tense than the base game, which kind of... There's no real, like, I really feel like this game actually kind of suffers from the fact that professional mode has been kind of taken out of the game now. So there's basically no way to do the main mission and not be allowed to save. I guess that's because they were a bit worried about the fact that the main mission you might take a long time exploring. And in the event, say, the connection dropped or what have you, that would be really, really frustrating. So they have to allow, like, as many saves as you want. It's still kind of, oh, don't move over to that position right there, you get... So just straight out to the side of the building, crowbar lets you bypass those doors. It is a crime to use a crowbar, but no one ever really seems to mind or notice. Straight past these lads and then take a right and we will be at the shoe shop that leads down into the tunnels. I've started in this disguise, so we don't need to worry about that. These guys are really unobservant for the guys who are actually kind of, you know, guarding the shoe shop through which the multi-billion pound investor, embezzler, whatever, 
uh, will actually be evacuated. It's kind of weird that they're not more observant than they are. Plus all the coins. Yeah, there's multiple challenges in this mission that require multiple coins. Like, you need to give five coins to uh, the beggar right by your starting location and throw six coins into the fountain. If you want to do that, then this is where five coins are hidden. There's also, like, a couple next to a couple of the vending machines and two down in the parking garage. But, yeah, there's not actually that many. So you're better off grabbing these here and then kind of doing it that way. Get rid of a hammer. Anything else I could do with... No, everything's fine. This is another good place to get a disguise, by the way, if you didn't get one earlier. Just, like, sneak past those guys by hopping over the barricade, sneak up behind that guy, and then stash his body right there. So you can get this disguise very, very easily. And now we are down into the tunnels. Very, very nice. Anyone around here going to recognize you? No! You guys are all incredibly non-perceptive. All right, fine. Now, the one guy that can actually see through my disguise is my target over here. That's fine. And you apparently need to die in a fire. Now, I'm going to guess that puncture. Ah, puncture with a screwdriver. If I get myself a screwdriver, then I can basically puncture this. I'm guessing an explosion isn't going to be good enough. Well, let's try it anyway. There's more remote explosives here, by the way. If you'd like more remote explosives, help yourself to a few more. Hide around the back of here. One remote explosive. Remember, you can lay these on the side of anything so that they can't be seen properly, like by holding the two uh, shoulder buttons together. So we've placed that over there where he won't now see it. Instead, we can now turn off this here generator. He will now, I'm presuming, he's going to be the one who goes and investigates that because the generator's been turned off. Yes, indeed, he is. And let's just hide over here and see if this is good enough to count as by fire. No, he died by explosion, not by fire. Okay, now I know what I need to do. Now, following the same route we followed already, there is a very convenient screwdriver I know how to get my hands on, which is, yeah, we turned right to get to the shoe shop right here, but if instead we keep going, there is a shop to the left right. in just a second. Uh, is this where I think I am? No, that's not where I think I am. It's a little bit further away. Never mind. Here we go. So just cut through there instead. And this is the place that I wanted. This door right here. This isn't even trespassing. What we can get is ourselves is a screwdriver, a hammer. If you want an explosive propane flask, there you go. But yeah, we got ourselves there a screwdriver. Perfect. So this is just round the corner from the shoe shop again, so no problem at all. Back through here, and here we go. So now I can just cut through, and we can do exactly what I just did. Again, no one kind of sees through this disguise. Everyone's very unobservant, so let's go straight back down to that bloke, together with a whole bunch more coins in case we need distraction items later. Obviously, a silenced weapon will also be incredibly useful for actually triggering this oil fire when we get round to it. So, next up, we now know what we're doing. Go over here, puncture gasoline with a screwdriver. There we go, that there is now punctured, and there will now be a lovely big oil slick. Now is that counted as something that's worthy of suspicion? Because when water spills, people actually look at the water spill and say, oh, actually that kind of, that puts the area under investigation. So we've got this over here, everything seems fine. Let's get your attention very, very quickly. And, oh, you're coming back. Okay, I'm hoping you're going to come back. And then in time for you to go away again. Actually, let me, oh no, you, you can see through my disguise. Darn, I picked a really bad moment to do this. Never mind. Uh, we can just kind of turn the generator back off again later. He'll just kind of keep doing this over and over. Oh, oh, no, he won't. Okay, turning the generator on actually causes the fire to occur. Okay, good. So I can basically puncture the drum, turn the generator, and then I can actually be running already. I don't need to hang around to shoot him. All right, fine, because the electrical little sparkle of the generator is enough to set that off. Perfect. In that case, let's be on our way and move straight on to the next level. So, mission accomplished. No XP for doing that. Obviously, I'm already maxed out. So, yep, decent enough score for level one. Fine. So we do the same thing again, but this time we have to break and enter. We have to break into the safe in the consulate basement and steal the contents. I don't actually know where that safe is. I'm not 100% sure. But I think basically being in the disguise we're already in, this should actually work pretty well already. Probably don't need the uh, remote explosive duck anymore. Figured out that's a little bit unnecessary. Let's go for that cool new combat knife. So let's do this nice and quick. Stand up here, move forward, and wait for that guy to move out of position. Grab the safe code for literally no reason other than it's there, so I might as well. 
In a moment, he'll move over to the door. All right, at this moment, there's two very useful tools here. Wrench and crowbar, always useful to get a full set of tools as early as possible, because that very, very much helps you kind of navigate around. I figured out actually the easiest way to kind of get out of this place will almost certainly be not to do any of the stuff I did previously, simply kind of head to the ground floor, then run down the right side here. Head out the door, the guy up front who can see through this disguise should be facing away because those guys are doing press-ups. Now I know I need to go and get a screwdriver and I know exactly where it is. Turn right and then down this alley up here. This should lead me directly to the shop that I want. Perfect, yeah, it will be just over here on the left in a second. Again, no one can see through this disguise particularly well. Right here, open up here and then, excuse me, this is my screwdriver now, screw you. That's the um the repair guy, by the way, or the maintenance guy. I don't know what he's really for. I don't know like where his disguise gets you that you couldn't very easily get in any other way, other than just like there's always some extra disguises to make the chameleon achievement for getting all the disguises a bit more difficult. Grab all the coins while I'm passing by, never know when those are gonna be useful, and then head down into the basement. Right, that guy's up the top, so he's not going to be seeing anything at all. Everything's fine. Actually, let's check on the map before we go any further. Where is this safe? that I'm supposed to be going to. Safe in here. Okay, so it's in the middle of the actual car park. That's absolutely fine. So this looks like this is all, yeah, no one can see what's going on here. Stab this, nice. Okay, no one is around at the moment. So turn off the generator and head out on our way. We may as well already be moving out and about. No, no, excuse me, get out of the way, please. There we are. So that guy will now go and turn off the generator and he'll burst into flames in a second. I don't need to be anywhere nearby when he does that. And I just head through this tunnel into the parking garage where there is the thing I need to hack. Now the question is, uh, there's some more observant people around here, if I recall correctly. Where are the more observant people? There's... Actually, not that many. Yeah, there he is. He's been killed. Lovely. So it looks like the way into the safe is... Actually, I don't know which side it is. It might be... I think it looks like it's over that way. Let's just go in... I can't see it over there. Yeah, I think those guys can't... Actually, none of these guys can see through my disguise. Oh, this is all absolutely 100% fine then. In that case, just head in the side here. Is it in... Is it in here? No, it's not this one. Okay, it must have been that one at the front. May as well get some extra rat poison while I'm passing by. Don't really need it, but you never know when it might be useful. So crack open here. And now I need to open up this safe that's... Aha. So this is going to be... Oh, well, it's not saying that unlocking it would be a crime. It's saying that unlocking it would be A-OK. -okay. So are me and you cool? You know, I'm going to wait for that guy to walk away just in case. There he goes, lovely. Unlock safe. Oh, yeah, needs to be broken open. No, no, no. You leave that alone. Right okay, I see. Pick up that vodka bottle. No, 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 don't fire at Will. Don't fire at Will. He's fine. No one, no one minds Will. Okay, note to self for next time. Bring a lock pick along. That's right. No, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. It's fine. I'm just going to go this way. There we go. This is way out. This is incredibly scruffy, but it'll do. Right, next time we do this, yes, bring along, and then we can hop up this way. This is the way in if you don't have the card or you're not allowed in. You can just hop this wall over here. Perfect. And then with that done, I'm just going to run for the exit at the far side of the, uh, yeah, the far side of the market. Which I believe is, yeah, it's that one directly heading me over there. So I just head into the market and then go to the left. Never go down the central plaza, by the way, because it's so crowded, 47 just goes to crawl. Instead, always go down the sideways because they're much less crowded. And thus you can kind of get through much more quickly. And fortunately, uh, alerts are localized. So the fact those guys are hunting me doesn't mean anyone else is. Instead, we can just be on our way nice and quick. On the plus side, of course, there's no bodies found. This is something a lot of people miss, by the way. Um, bodies found only count if the bodies were assassinated. If a body dies in an accident and it's found, it's still an accident. So therefore, it doesn't count against you. You can actually, if you do um, double accident kills against the two targets and both the bodies are found, you can still get Silent Assassin because they died in an accident. Why would that be in any way suspicious? Why should that ever be kind of counted against you? So, all right, move on to the next one. And remember, bring a lockpick this time. And we have got ourselves a brand new target that needs to be taken down. Okay, and this bloke needs to go down to a flipping shotgun. Right, that's a very specific request there, game. So he needs to die, and after he's died, he needs to be hidden 
in the container in the parking garage maintenance room. I'm not sure which room that is, but uh, we can check in on that. Okay, we're going to need to replan the mission ever so slightly, because obviously I'm going to need a shotgun. Luckily, the shotgun can actually be in the consulate parking garage, so that's convenient that I've already unlocked that. Now, unfortunately, I needed to actually step out to figure out what of my weapons is or isn't a shotgun, because I don't bloody know the difference between a TAC-4 AR versus an NRAM HV. How the bloody hell am I supposed to know that? Also, I still don't know what those bloody symbols mean, because the game never explains it. So, I know it's custom. I think that means a larger clip, that one in the middle, but what does that one on the left mean? Bullets travel faster? It it has a faster fire rate than the basic version? I have no bloody clue, because there's no flipping glossary. You know, I might be able to speed this up ever so slightly if I actually started in the cons- Oh no, I can't start in the consulate parking garage, because I need the screwdriver. So I may as well uh, start in Zaydan's compound, because then I know where it's easy to get screwdriver is. I'll tell you what would be a great item to unlock at some point. A little toolbox, where if you equip it in one of your two slots, you get to have a free screwdriver, wrench, and crowbar, the three actually useful tools. That would be beautiful. Remember, there's time to bring along a lockpick as well as distraction coins, and smuggle an item into the exact maintenance room I'm going to be needing to visit anyway, and smuggle in the slightly improved shotgun that I unlocked at some point or other. Though, yeah, ideally what I'll need to do is I'll need to lure this guy into this room, murder him in this room, get his body right away, and then walk away before anyone responds to the noise. Because I'm guessing, even if this thing is in any way quieter, it's still going to make a bang, and that's going to draw the attention of the other soldiers. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I tell you what, a thought just crossed my mind as I was waiting for this guy to move so I could get the tools and be on my way. If I were to do the shotgun assassination first, and the noise from the shotgun blast drew the attention of the other guards, and I just dropped the shotgun and then walked out of there, potentially that could actually work in my favour, because that might actually draw the attention of some guys away from where the safe is. That actually might open up a way for me to crack the safe with the crowbar, to actually save some time. I'm not sure if the lockpick even bloody works on a safe, by the way. I don't think I've ever tested that before, but uh, it will be interesting to uh, test that theory. If not, I do have the crowbar as a backup. Also, I'm really thrilled that we do live in this lovely post-racial, everyone's colorblind version of Morocco, but I can't help but notice that um, 47 is clearly the whitest bloke in this entire military force, and no one seems to notice or comment on that. That very often, when he kills someone and takes their uniform, they are a lot darker skinned than him, but no, nobody notices that suddenly a very, very white man is getting involved in this whole situation. They just do not mind. It would be rude to point it out. Okay, puncture the gasoline drum. There we are. And quickly turn you off. There we go. You, if you wouldn't mind just turning your attention over in this direction. Yep, you go and investigate that. Thank you. And I'll just be on my way while you catch fire. And I'm guessing because he needs to be stashed in this room, whoever this guy is, he's going to be in this room right now. Yes, indeed. I think I can already see him on my plan. So he's been killed and that's an accident. It's this guy. Okay. And where exactly is the room with the shotgun? Is it this room around here that's got the the thing? Here we go. Yes, this will be it then. So this is my drop and then that's what we want. So we've got ourselves a shotgun here and that guy ultimately needs to be put into this crate. I could probably lure him around the corner with a couple of throwables actually. Yeah, actually, there's basically no one else around here, so I'd say we lure him around here first before we actually go any further. So he gets lured to here. Okay, coin one. This is why we wanted... No! Not you! You're completely the wrong bloody guy. All right, fine. You know what? You can go down too. So we'll just lure you over here. We've got all these coins, and then... No, no, over here, over here, over here, over here. Coin number two. He investigates over here, close the door, and subdue him nice and quick. We may as well get him out of the way. Down, down you go, my good man. He can just be stashed unconscious in this box too. May as well get him out of the way. Yeah, he was unnecessary. Had I just been able to get hold of him? Oh, he dropped all the coins. Beautiful. And then we'll just put the rifle down here so the other guy doesn't see it when he comes in. Oh, 
Ah, there's a screwdriver here. Ah, now that changes the order in which you might want to do things, doesn't it? Yes, quite significantly, in fact. Because if I just start in here, and then... Ooh, you're not, you're not the guy. Why are you here? Go away, I don't want you here. Well, fine, if you're going to walk through this area, then I guess you're going to go down too. Fine, down you go. We'll just drag you in here as well. Now, whatever happens, do not put him in the box, because if I fill up that box, then obviously I physically can't put the other guy in there. But do make sure that we get this guy nice and round the corner. So just grab his leg and tuck him properly round. There we are. So he's now properly round the corner. Now, I could, of course, just straight up shoot this guy now. But if I do that, then... Oh, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Round here, round here, round here. It's you, right? Yeah, you're the target. Would you mind just popping over here for a second, please? Huh? Yep, okay. And his journey over towards here commences. Close the door. Get the shotgun. Okay, and then quickly, quickly, no, grab him, grab him, grab him. Body found. Oh, I'm hunted. Well, this hasn't gone desperately well so far, but that's fine. Just, just, no, I'm, yeah, arresting. Arresting is fine. Yeah, fake surrender, fake surrender, fake surrender. I'm fake surrender, fake surrender. Oh, this is going to go well. And balls. Okay. Those two guys are both unconscious in the room. And I've got a new plan that might just work. Which is he has to die by being hit by a shotgun. That doesn't mean he has to be conscious when he's killed. Not in the slightest. Okay, he goes down over here. Now we just grab him. Nice and unconscious. And we move him over here. Yeah, very, very nice. He's in here. He's alive. He's totally alive. So this is all 100% totally legit and fine and so forth. Now, we can't dump him in the box because he's unconscious for now. So what we need to do... Actually, now, now that he's in this state, this here is a good time to go and take care of the safe. So just quickly lockpick the safe. I'm not sure a lockpick really works on a safe. Oh, it's very fast as well. Right, definitely should have done that the first time. Got myself the safe. Now what's the best thing to do? Which is, at any point, I could shoot this guy with a shotgun, grab him, then just grab him, dump him in the box, and then just walk out. But if I do that, I feel like by the time I actually get out here... Those guys, including guys who can see through disguises very effectively, are already going to be borderline on top of me. I wonder if there's a fire alarm around here. If I were to trigger an alert, would that potentially work to my advantage? I tell you what, can't do any worse. Trigger alarm! There we are. One alarm. Everyone hopefully starts fleeing and panicking and manicking a bit. Everyone, I think, is now responding to the alarm. There you are. Those three guys are now going to go round further out of the way than they would have been previously. Aha. 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 This works in a kind of crazy, stupid way. And as soon as they're suitably... Where are they even going? They're going miles away. All right. Well, this has worked out surprisingly well. There you are. Gunshots heard. That's fine. In box by the time... There we are. There we are, there we are, there we are, there we are, there we are. Just walk out, walk out, walk out, walk out, walk out. Run out this way. Run out any way you want. Where are the guards? Where are the guards? Um, One guy, had, yeah, a couple of guards have heard gunshots. They're going to go find a body in there. But by the time they find the body and make their way out, that's fine. They've only found the body of the guy who's unconscious. They haven't found the body of the guy who's dead. I, however, head straight out this way. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's scruffy, but that actually works surprisingly well. Okay, a lot scruffier this time, but it's completed. What's the next bit? What are you adding in next? So, same four things as before, but this time, ah, additional security cameras. And if I'm recorded, the evidence must be deleted within two minutes. So the complication is big brother mode. All right. Now, if I just keep my eyes open, you can shoot a security camera with a silenced gun to remove it from the game without too much trouble. So that shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to tell you what, I'm also going to replan slightly. Let's actually try just starting off inside the consulate parking garage. That's kind of the most difficult bit. So let's try that. 47 has literally snuck in in the boot of a car, I can reasonably assume is what's supposed to have happened here. Marvellous. Now, extra security cameras. Well, there's one right there. That's fine. 
One security camera goes down. Nobody hears it. Nice and silenced. Okay, this seems like a good moment to pop along here and go and grab my shotgun. As well as the screwdriver that I will be needing later, so isn't that a nice thing to have right now? What I really need to get really good at is figuring out the exact right position for this guy to respond and the other guy to not. Because I think a position of about here... No, not even close to good enough. How about here? Yep, okay. That's got his attention. That's good. So now we're in a much better position. That guy's the only guy who's down. When we're ready to finish the level, we can shoot him and take him down. I've got his uniform off him again. No one said anything about him not being naked. No one said anything about him not being unconscious. Totally within the letter of the law. And with him down, it should actually be pretty easy for me and my lockpick to just take out this thing. I just need to wait for that guy to turn away, I think. Though if he's really, really, really insistent on this... Oh, hello. Oh, erase video. Oh, flip. Right, well... Balls. I forgot about that. Security cameras. Okay, I think I'm allowed upstairs. Uh, these guys are allowed upstairs. So if these guys are allowed... Oh, flip. You can see through the bloody disguise. You clear on the emergency procedure? Yeah, I'm sure everyone's clear on the bloody emergency procedure. Why have I got no coins? Right, who else is in this room? Anyone? Well, that didn't go well then. Let's see if we can pull off the same trick again. This time, hopefully it should be a little bit on the easier side. So, coin into about the middle of the truck. Perfect, Amundo. That gets his attention quite nicely. He goes over there. And a coin about here, as soon as he loses interest in that. Hopefully he's out of sight of everyone else. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. And get him over here. Perfect. Okay, so we've pretty much nailed the taking him out efficiently point of the plan. That's good. Make sure to reclaim my coins in case I need them later. And make sure I know where the bloody security cameras are, of course. Now, security cameras in Paris put a little kind of weave on the ground that let you know where they were and weren't looking. Interestingly, that doesn't seem to be happening as much here. Oh, well, fine. That security camera needs to go down anyway. Neither of you are facing this direction, so that's okay. I'm just going to take a silent shot and then hide around the back of here and hope that does the job good enough to get that out of the picture. Okay. Security camera now removed. He heard the bullet impact, but he doesn't have enough evidence to figure out what's going on, so he doesn't care. What? I've been record- What security camera? I was standing perfectly still. What the hell are you to- Oh, bloody hell. Right. I've got two minutes to get rid of the evidence. I've got to go up and do it this way. Okay, that's fine. You know what? General panic. Activate panic mode. Panic, panic, panic. That's right, some general panic. That'll do everyone the world of good. Why don't you all run away? Because there's general panic going on. Yeah, that's right, general panic. General panic. Everyone loves general panic. And then if you just want to leave the security office because of the panic. Yes, that is exactly the thing. There we go. Nice. And then back through here. Back underground. The general panic has worked beautifully well. <laughs> oh, that was great. I don't even know what bloody security camera caught me there. But uh, never mind. The general panic worked incredibly efficiently at uh, getting all of that down. Are any of you... Oh, flip. That'll be... <laughs> That's the target of the main mission on his way out of the building. <laughs> oh, perfect. That guy over there is on hyper alert mode. Let's just go and hide in my room for... Actually, I wonder if this is... This seems like a good chance to get the safe open. Yeah. Very, very quickly. No one seems to be around at the minute. Oh, oh. Yes. Get that, get that, get that. There we go. <laughs> okay. The alert appears to be over. This is good. I mean, I assume now I've deleted the evidence. I wouldn't need to go and do that again if I were spotted on camera. That bit of the mission's just done. Uh, in which case... This could all work. Um, while everyone's out of the way, this could be an excellent time to just do a quick blast of that guy in the face with a shotgun. Uh, yeah, why not? And then 
Drag. Dump. And did anyone, did it just say anyone heard that shot? I don't think they did. And then, oh, someone, someone, someone's around. So, no, 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 get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, in, in. Okay, a couple of people heard that gunshot. Where are the remainder of the bloody security cameras? You're over there. Let's just get, where's the security camera that saw me last time? Okay, there's a security camera over there and over here. Right. Can I get into, I think I can get around the back here here. You don't see anything. Security camera there. Something is going down. Stay on your toes. Oh, it's it's absolutely fine. Now, I just nip in here. Okay. Where's the security camera that's overlooking this direction? Is there one? Because could I just drop... Could I just climb through here and then miss that one entirely? Okay. Uh, where are you, Oh, God. Where are you facing? You're facing in this direction, aren't you? Right. Go, 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 go. Down, 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 down. And probably there's extra security cameras in the tunnel as well. Aren't there? I bet there are. Right. You don't see through my disguise. No sign of any extra security yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is good. This is fun. I like this in a terrifying, I don't like this sort of way. Just check around all the corners. I would not surprise me if they put a troll security camera in one of these little alcoves. That would be the biggest troll thing imaginable. And yet I can see it being exactly what happens. So you are facing... Wait, what are you even facing? Oh, right. Go, 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 go. Go around the corner, around the corner. There you go. There you go. I really hope I picked up that screwdriver earlier, by the way. I'm going to be really angry if I didn't. Oh, God. Uh, right, you can't see anything. Puncture. You hopefully are about to go and walk over back over there. Yep. And then where's the additional... I'm not sure if there's additional security here as well. Right, and then turn off and then we're heading out this direction. Assuming there's no extra security cameras, which hopefully there aren't because it would be a jerk if there were. The final piece of the puzzle is done, which is the generator's off and the oil spill was made. That guy should be catching fire momentarily. Body found. Locate exits. Okay. Yeah. I'm terrified by the prospect of the extra security. Don't know where the hell that is. Okay, it feels like the extra security is only downstairs. That once we're out here, I think we're home free. Not even that bad, actually. For the fact you have to use a shotgun, that's probably not too bad at all. I like my principle of general chaos and madness actually worked quite nicely. So that gets me... Oh, wow. I will take 166,000 for level 4. 81st in the world. Nice. And the final level. What is the final complication, you bunch of massive dicks? And keep the outfit you were wearing at the mission start or you will fail the mission. Okay, so that's actually not too bad. That just means I have to go back to doing it the original way. Because I have to start off dressed in the elite outfit because basically that's the only way to make this workable. So just replan this. Starting location, uh, undercover in Zaydan. So now I've got the starting outfit. But other than that, I basically need to just redo what I just did, albeit kind of in reverse, which shouldn't actually be that bad. I mean, the nice thing about doing it in reverse is I do get eight coins rather than three. So it's a lot less stressful on the coin throws. Oh, bloody hell, I've just triggered. Apparently there was a security. Then what the? Where have all you guys come from? You guys were not here the last time I passed through. Right. Oh, or you were because I already took care of it on the way. Ah. Hey, who the hell are you? Uh, don't worry. I'm just a bit suspicious. It's okay. I'm just on the really in a hurry at the minute. I've got some video evidence that needs to be deleted. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. So uh, the tunnel actually does have a ton of cameras in it. It's just once you've deleted the evidence once, you don't need to bother doing it again. So, yeah, I know I've been recorded by many, many security cameras. Oh, bloody hell. Right, and then just trigger the alarm for Operation Mass Panic. Operation Mass Panic. Come on, Operation Mass Panic. This is going to work. And then, yeah, you just, you just go away. That's right, Operation Mass Panic. Operation Mass Panic. Operation Mass Panic. <laughs> This is literally the only chance we've got. If Operation... No. No, go away. 
That's right. Operation Mass Panic shall succeed. Yes. And with 40 seconds to go. Nice. Operation Mass Panic is a huge success. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, well, that was scruffy as anything. Never mind. Uh, the, tar yeah, the target hasn't been locked down because he's not my target. Some random bloke has been locked down. I don't care. Although, irritatingly, one of my targets has apparently joined up with the security detail. <laughs> oh, no. Which one was he? He's okay. Oh, no, he's not. He's not going all the way. He's just escorting them a little bit of the way. You don't matter anymore, do you? No. Okay. Once you've taken care of the security once you don't need to bother taking out any of the rest of the cameras. That's... <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, so... The target just ran off. Ah, uh, perfect. Oh, I'm glad this is a little bit different, at least. Grab myself a screwdriver. Oh, no. I know exactly what's bloody happened. Which, as you may recall, I mentioned during my full story video, occasionally the target, when he's escorted out, gets stuck here because the dialogue doesn't trigger, and the only way to fix it is to uh, save and reload. I can't save and reload because I'm in an escalation. So he's now just stuck there forever. So obviously I can't actually... Well, I guess theoretically I could actually kill him and then drag him all the way back. I just need to kill literally everyone. Alright, fine. Challenge accepted. Me and my trusty crowbar can totally 100% take care of all of this because with a crowbar you can basically kill literally everyone as long as you can get them all on their own one by one. So let me give you an example. Hey, we got this lovely guy right here. So all we need to do, line up his head... <laughs> Guaranteed knockout, immediately snap his neck, job done. Pick up crowbar, repeat indefinitely. Oh, someone's found a body. That's alright, Mr. Crowbar has some stern words for witnesses and snitches. Right, these three lads need to go down next, that's fine. I'm pretty sure one of you goes into the shop on a regular basis. When you do that, we'll simply kind of uh, kill you then. What the fuck? Uh-oh, someone heard that. Well, that's fine. Luckily, I've got a shotgun. Now, I may have slightly just drawn the attention of some guys. That's fine. Some bodies have been found. That's okay. Yeah, that's right. Reload for a second, please. Damn it! Oh, boo. You're really fragile. Okay, owing to the ridiculously high volume of cameras in the tunnels that do cause a lot of trouble, I'm going to head in via the parking garage door, because then there's only one camera that can be easily shot with a silenced pistol, and everything will be fine. So yeah, this time, we're going to head in over the fence on the one cracked bit that was broken by the lorry over here. Just making sure that you turn away first, if you'd be so kind. Thank you. Okay. Nothing yet, but there is a security camera very, very close by to this location. Okay, that's that one taken care of. I want no alerts, because apparently an alert can bring my guy to be called into the flipping bodyguard of the target, and then he can get stuck due to a glitch, which is very, very annoying. Right, that one's dead. This one over here needs to go down as well. Let's just take out the security cameras first, because I actually don't want to have to deal with an alert. The game's fine with you, like, not hitting it dead on, by the way. Blood Money was really fussy. You need to take a camera, like, dead on for it to count properly. Whereas this one is fine if you just hit the casing. Now, where is... Okay, there's one over there. And there's one over here as well. So if I just go for you now nice and quick... And then one more I can just snipe from the side here. And that, I believe, is all four of them that actually have any chance of seeing me taken care of. Now, there's more in the tunnels. That's the problem. But the tunnels I'm not so worried about. The tunnels I'll take care of when it, when it kind of comes up. For now, let's focus on our main target, who is you right there. Yes, just wanted to double check there. So I've only got three coins. First coin, middle. What? Second coin. Yes, perfect, 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 perfect. That's a pretty spot on position for him, I think. Subdue. Let's get him over here towards this 
door. You do not turn this way, thank you. Lovely. All right. Final target. Knocked unconscious. Acquired. Pull him in here. Ready to shoot him later. Don't need to shoot him yet. Okay. That should be all the security cameras taken care of. Now I just want this guy out of the way for a second. If I just hit the generator, then hop out of the window. I think, wait, where's the generator? It's over here. If I just hit this generator over here, grab the hammer, always useful to have an extra throwable. If I just hit this generator, then hop out of the window, that there should draw the attention of that guy who is over there. So go through here, hop down here. Drop down. There we go. And now the guy who was over there is now coming over here. Meaning that I can now run over here and crack the safe without anyone seeing that. Unlock. Lock pick. You might be able to see something but I think you're far enough away that you'll never see a thing. Get the bottle. And on we go. Right. Objective number one taken care of. Jaweed Razor is the easiest bit by far. You are just... Oh, you've seen that gun, but that doesn't matter. The cameras in here, I believe, are all taken care of. Now, a question that occurs to me is whether the sensible thing to do next would actually be to go and clear out the, the security footage myself before I go any further. And I think it could well be the safest, most sensible thing to do right there. Or we could go into Operation Panic, because at this point, Operation Panic has always worked really... Oh, no, I don't need to get the shotgun. I've already got the shotgun, John. John, you already did that bit. Um, Operation Panic has always worked very well for me. And with that guy unconscious, potentially this could be an excellent time for Operation Panic to be done. Uh, unless there's any more bloody security cameras. I don't think so, though. Um, no, I think we're good. Well, I think, yeah, Operation Panic seems to do a really good job of, like, clearing everyone out and keeping them on the move. Uh, you often, like, see me for a little moment, but not, like, enough to cause a worry. All right, here we go. Up here. Yeah, there we go. That's right. It's an alarm. It's terrifying. You should all abandon your post and just go wandering blindly through the building. That's right. Delete that video evidence. There you go. They always seem to go the same route as well. A route that, like, conveniently actually opens up. A really convenient, easy way for me to actually get around to the security office and delete the footage. Because they all seem to, like, basically abandon the sensible places to be. Right, destroy the evidence. Quick, 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 quick. There we go. Yeah, where do they even all go? I've no bloody clue, but they do seem to, like, abandon any sensible place to be. Like, they abandon the only route that links the embassy to the parking garage. They abandon the security cameras. They completely, like, stop paying attention to anything that it would actually make sense for them to be paying attention to. So, never mind. There comes the target. <laughs> Off he pops. Um, none of you... Yeah, the weird signalling system where, like, guys who should be able to see through my disguise just can't for no well-explained reason. That's going on right now. Uh, so now we've got this. Now I've got plenty of time while everyone's busy to uh, shoot this guy in the face quickly. So just pull you round here. There you go. Drop yourself right there. And then what we'll do is... Actually, you know what? We could shoot him and then hide in the box too. But you know what? We haven't been doing that so far. Let's not change the plan. Let's keep the plan exactly as is. Right. And then drag. Dump. Then get out of here as quickly as possible. All right, go, 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 go. Just get as far away as we can from this thing. Hide around the back of this car. Normally, two people hear that shot and come and investigate. Yeah, because shotguns are bloody loud. That's that's a thing we've all learned about shotguns today. They are bloody loud. Right, one more. <laughs> oh god, we're so close. Um, I can't change my disguise. That's fine. Um, I've already deleted the footage. I don't need to worry about the security cameras anymore. Okay, yeah, is anyone over there going to recognise me? Doesn't look like it. I think we're actually in really good shape right now. Yeah, get in gear, whatever you say. Be on the lookout for the hyper alert guards. Because sometimes guards become more alert during alerts. Which kind of makes sense, that's probably why they're called alerts. So you've got to be a little bit on the careful side, just in case any guards have like suddenly got way more perceptive than they would normally be. So around the corner here. Yep, fine. And then you are not more perceptive than you'd normally be. But, irritatingly, you're now standing in that position. Meaning I can't sabotage the barrel. 
until the alert is over. That's fine. Okay, I think you've already calmed down, actually. Perfect. Perfect. All right, this works. Right, puncture. Good, good, good. Some nice oil spill going on here. And this all works. Turn off the generator. And out we go, nice and quick. Now just make double sure that there's no flipping perceptive guards heading in this way. Use instinct as much as possible. Because there might be some more perceptive guards heading back this way who did escort the target out. But I'm pretty sure all the guards that escort the target are not the hyper-perceptive ones. I think they're fine. Okay. Body found, but I don't care. And I'd say everything is looking spot on. <laughs> okay, people were right. This was a fun one. This was an interesting one. Because the thing is, like, when the escalations are rubbish, the reason they're rubbish is because um, you end up, like, you get given an objective, and then you kind of do it reasonably well, and then, like, the next, like, complication you're given is, in fact, just exactly what you just did again. And you end up having to do, like, the same thing twice. Like, at one point when I did an escalation... I like did it I did the first objective and then the second and third were both stuff I just done by default when I was doing the first just because you know roughly now to play this game and that was really annoying that's what put me off escalations but this one was fun it was interesting and on we go <laughs> obsidian exposition or whatever this bloody thing was called complete let's see how we did I think that's actually probably not too bad get 5,000 mastery points for completing that and end score was 162,000 I'd say Doing this in 12 minutes, that's actually not a bad time for level 5. Let's see how that puts me in the world. I will gladly take 114. I'm proud of that. That's pretty damn good. Bearing in mind, of course, this actually came out the same day that Marrakesh itself came out. So this actually has been out for days and days and days. And I'm still able to, uh, yeah, get within the top 150. Happy with that. So there you are, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Ignatiev Integrity Complete. I enjoy the Escalation missions. They're very, very good. I'm glad, obviously, like, um, they have said that the elusive contracts are going to be just live and they're not going to be kind of available later. I suspect when they actually box up this game, they will actually put the elusive contracts in. But it is nice to know at least the Escalations are definitely going to be included. So if you're not playing this game right now, you will get to play the Escalations uh, later when you kind of decide to buy the uh, box set, if that's the way you decide to go. And I've spoken to a few people who have said they like Hitman, they like the way this looks, but they're not going to buy it until it's all boxed up and completed. And fair enough if that's the way that you want to uh, choose to consume this. Uh, the Escalations, they are definitely getting better at making more interesting escalations. This one was quite good. So, I mean, if some ways, like, the guy being set on fire was basically just figuring something out and then doing it over and over again. But yeah, dealing with the parking garage and all of that stuff, that was good fun. So, uh, yeah, good at escalation. It's kind of rekindled my interest in these. So maybe I'll look at another one whenever the next episode comes out as well. So, yes, a bit more Hitman for you, ladies and gentlemen. That might be the end of Marrakesh, to be honest. Like, I know I haven't really kind of shown off, like, every single one of the unique kills. But to be honest, there's not as many unique kills as there were in Sap and the unique kills that are there are not quite as interesting so it would probably be a bit of a short and interesting video to be honest so this might be it for Marrakesh but very much looking forward to whichever one out of Thailand, USA and Japan comes next because all those could be very very fun indeed but in the meantime ladies and gentlemen I've been John this has been many a true nerd and this has been Hitman with a little bit more of the escalation contracts thank you very much and goodbye I think just found a laundry room, also a chainsaw, for those particularly stubborn stains. Am I going to hipster heaven? Is there going to be infinite granola? Wait, I've got a ghost fedora? Did I just collect a giant ghost water heater? Food please, I'm a cat. Find out if Iris is safe! I'm gonna be honest, I've kind of failed that one.